Serena? Who wants to know? Name's Shepard. Liara Tassoni said you might have information on Thane Krios. Tana, cover for me. Over here. Yeah, I know who Thane Krios is. I might have passed him some information, but I didn't hire him. What do you want to know? Maybe you could help me find him? <laughs> I can tell you, but you won't stop him. When he contacted me, I checked up on him. The man never gives up on a job. I ran security for Nasana Dantius. Then I found out she was having people killed to cover up her dirty secrets. She fired me when I confronted her. Her loss. I might have been good enough to stop Thane from taking her down. If you work there, you must have an idea what his opposition will be. Eclipse Mercs. High-tech killer. Undisciplined, but very well equipped. They don't much care who they kill, as long as they're paid for it. Thane has quite a reception waiting for him. I told him all I knew. He didn't seem worried. Why does that name sound familiar? She was a representative on the Citadel a few years ago. Right. She had me kill her sister, the slaver. I thought that was just a rumor. Well, you know what she's capable of then. She has even more power here in Nos Astra. She uses it to keep her friends in check, and her enemies dead. So where do I find Thane? The Dantius Towers. Penthouse level of Tower One. There's a second tower, still under construction. If Thane is smart, he'll go in from there. It doesn't sound like Nasana's just gonna let me in. She's as smart as she is paranoid. No one's getting in or out of there without a fight. I can get you in, but you'll only get one shot. You'd better be ready. You're just offering your help? No strings attached? You're going to look for Thane. Nasana's mercenaries will try to stop you. At the least, you'll distract her guards. Take a little fire, give Thane a clear shot. I didn't hire him to kill Nasana, but I won't shed any tears when she gets what's coming to her. Do you know anything else about Thane? Not much. He did say that he's not doing the hit for money. Nobody hired him. I wanted to know who I was helping, and he said he's doing this job on his own. That he had to restore the balance of his life. I don't know. Maybe he's crazy. If he takes down Nasana, I don't care why he does it. Let's go, then. Good. I'm tired of this crap. We'll go tonight, as soon as the shift workers clear out of Tower 2. The towers are heavily guarded, and you'll find more resistance closer to the penthouse. So, this assassin. You planning to stop him? I'm just here to make sure he survives. Hmm. Dantius Towers. You'll have to get up to the second tower and cross the bridge to the penthouse. Her mercs will fight you every step, but it's your best chance. We might find him before it goes that far. Maybe. At least you'll know where he's headed. All right. Let's do this. Hold on. <laughs> They'll be here to greet you soon enough. Good luck, Shepard. He's still alive. I can't feel my legs. My chest is killing me. Who did this to you? And why? We're just night workers. Nasana 
sent them after us. She sent the mechs to round us up, but we didn't hear. They just started shooting. They just attacked you? Yes. They were too slow. It was horrible. Everyone screaming. The mercs said there was no time. Nasana wanted us out of the way. Immediately. Then... <coughs> the dogs... <coughs> He's not going to make it if we don't help him. Here. That should ease the pain and keep you alive until help arrives. Gotta keep moving if you want to find this assassin. Take your time. I think I'm better. Find the other workers. Help them. I need to get up to the penthouse. Any suggestions? Take the service elevator to the upper floors. The bridge between the towers isn't finished, but if you're careful, watch out for the mercs. They're everywhere. Any idea how many mercs Nassan has got? A lot. Dozens of them are wandering around here all day. You'll find more the further up you go. Why would Nasana kill her own workers? To her, we're expendable. But I didn't realize she was that ruthless. My friends, co-workers, slaughtered. They were jumping off ledges to escape the dogs. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Hey, I think he went in here. We'll go get him. You go. Get your ass in there, and the is not paying you to stand around. Fine. But I... Uh... Kill us! We'll go! We'll go! Hey, look! They're not Eclipse. You're here to help us, right? It's one reason I'm here. Come on out. It's safe enough. Thank you. We are in your debt. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for someone, not a merc. He's on his own. Well, whoever sealed us in here, 
When he found us, I thought we were dead. But he just closed the door and locked us in. Locked you in? Sounds like our assassin was trying to keep them safe. Assassin? Here for Nasana, I bet. She's got it coming. You treat people like this, it always comes back to bite you in the ass. Nasana's not exactly your favorite person? She's a hard woman to work for. That's an understatement. She works as long hours, no overtime, and this is what you get in payment. She's unpleasant, to say the least. Why not just quit? We would if we could. What's stopping you? Our contract. We're stuck until the job's done. Quitting for any reason can be hazardous to your health. We hear that anyone who leaves early tends to disappear. Probably just a rumor. But who wants to find out for sure? Did you see the one who locked you in? Do you know where he might have gone? He's no Solarian, I can tell you that. But I've no idea where he went. Sorry. If he's after Nasana, he'll be heading to the upper levels. I need to get to Nasana's penthouse. What's the quickest way? Cargo elevator is the only way up right now. They're still working up top. Watch your step. Some of the walls aren't in, and it's a long way down. Cold, too. I hate working up there. How many workers were in the tower? Are there many more of you? Not alive. We were lucky. Well, some got out before the dogs were sent in. Maybe a few are hiding somewhere. I wouldn't stay here too long. It should be safe down on the lower floors. I was just thinking the same thing. Let's go, everybody! Thank you. And tell your assassin to aim for her head. Because she doesn't have a heart. Get moving! I haven't heard from teams four or five. Don't worry. My team's always ready to go. I don't know where he is. Not yet. Don't worry about it. We don't need any reinforcements. I'll take care of it. It's under control. I'll go down there myself. Turn around. Very slow. Damn it. Have you seen the assassin? Why are you looking for him? You're not one of Nasana's mercs. Who are you? Tell me where the assassin is. I've got nothing more to say to you. If you shoot me, my team's right through there. How about goodbye? Harsh, but I guess he had it coming. Are you guys all right in here? Get back! Get back! I'll shoot! Relax. Don't do anything you'll regret. I don't want to hurt you. But I will. I said get back. I'll do it. Please, don't make me do it. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. What's your name? I... I'm Talon. Don't... Don't come any closer. Talon, I'm Commander Shepard. I don't work with the mercs and I don't want to hurt you. I'm here to help. I... All right. Here. I, uh... Don't feel so... Tell him! He's my brother. I just want to see if he's all right. Are you the ones who shot the Merc? It wasn't me. Your brother didn't do it? No. Tell him was standing here with me. What happened exactly? The Merc found us and shouted at us to move. We, we panicked, and he shouted more. I thought he was going to kill us, then... His head just exploded. Talon picked up the Merc's gun, but we were too afraid to leave. Then you showed up. A perfect headshot, with no collateral damage. Very impressive. I'm looking for someone. Probably the guy who killed this Merc. Talon thought he saw someone following us, but he's been a bit... on edge. I haven't seen anyone but the Mercs. Is the bridge the only way to the penthouse and the other tower? From here, yeah. It won't be easy. Mercs are patrolling the other side. Whatever Nasana's hiding from must be pretty scary. How safe is that bridge out there? The bridge is stable, but the wind's your real problem. If it doesn't throw you off, the mercs will definitely try. There's a lot of them out there. There are still mercs up here. You should get to the lower levels. No need to convince me. Tell him. Come on, get up. 
Let me go home now. Yeah, we're getting out of here. Thank you. Sensors activated. I don't care what you do! No one can cross that bridge! Sensors are offline. That is very rare. Sick is not designed to be like and we're going to be fine. Scratch! Mm. Shepard, but you're dead. I got better. And now you're here to kill me. I'm not an assassin, Nassana, but I am looking for one. You break in here and decimate my security just to find the person who's here to kill me? What are you playing at, Shepard? What? I heard something. Damn it. Check the other entrances. You. Stay put. When I'm finished dealing with this nuisance, you and I are going to... Impressive. You certainly know how to make an entrance. I came a long way to talk to you. One moment. Prayers for the wicked must not be forsaken. She certainly was wicked. Not for her. For me. The measure of an individual can be difficult to discern by actions alone. Take you, for instance. All this destruction, chaos. I was curious to see how far you'd go to find me. Well, here I am. How did you know I was coming at all? I didn't. Not until you marched in the front door and started shooting. Nasana had become paranoid. You saw the strength of her guard force. She believed one of her sisters would kill her. You were a valuable distraction. You used me. 
So you could kill her? I needed a diversion. You needed to speak with me. You certainly fulfilled your end of the bargain. What would you like to discuss? You're familiar with the Collectors? By reputation. They're abducting entire human colonies. Freedom's Progress was their handiwork. I see. We're going after them. Attacking the Collectors would require passing through the Omega-4 Relay. No ship has ever returned from doing so. My ship will be the first. You'd like me to protect humans I've never met, from aliens no one knows anything about, by going to a place no one's ever returned from? That's the gist of it. This was to be my last job. I'm dying. Low survival odds don't concern me. The abduction of your colonists does. You're dying. Are you contagious? How long do you have? If you're interested, we can discuss it on your ship. The problem isn't contagious, and it won't affect my work. I take it that means you're on the team? I will work for you, Shepard. No charge. I've heard impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh-huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. Obviously he is too. He's doing this mission gratis. What's your concern? I don't like mercenaries. An assassin is just a precise mercenary. An assassin is a weapon. A weapon doesn't choose to kill. The one who wields it does. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. He seems quite civil. Jacob, we need him. But that doesn't mean I trust him. Let me know if he turns into a problem. Aye, aye, Commander. Ilium sees many human refugees, terminus orphans, and former slaves abandoned by the Tyrian raiders. For many, the adjustment is difficult, but one... Shepard, it's good to see you again. So... What can I do for you? How's your own work going? The data you gave me was extremely helpful. It gave me a target. The Shadow Broker has several contacts here on Ilium. The most powerful is someone called the Observer. Taking down the Observer will put me closer to the Shadow Broker. I could use your help. Tell me what I can do to help. Your data pointed me at logs kept by Shadow Broker agents. The logs were deleted but it may be possible to reconstruct some of it. The Shadow Broker is cautious. His agents are referred to only by their title and race. My inquiries have narrowed the Observer down to one of five operatives. A Turian, a Salarian, a Krogan, a Batarian, and a Vorcha. If you can refine the list, I'll know where to strike. Do you have any specifics on these agents? I'm afraid not. Nixeris was lucky to get as much as she did. I was happy to help, ma'am. The data is our only hope of determining which one is the Observer. And if we wait too long, they'll all disappear. I'll reconstruct the data and tell you what I find. Thank you, Shepard. When you find something, call me on the radio channel we used in the old days. I can't risk handling this in person. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilya. Do you know where I could find her? Samara? Yes. She arrived recently and registered with Tracking Officer Dara. You can find Dara at the Transportation Hub. Why would Samara have to register with a Tracking Officer? Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. 
If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Shepard. I... I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave, and you killed it. And saved me. I promised to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. How is Zeus Hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however. Along with what was left of the Thorian. Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again? Or did the Thorian somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zeus Hope. They actually seem to want to help us survive. And the Thorian is dead. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. I fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. Is there something I can do to help? I'd appreciate it. I've reached the limits of my diplomatic abilities, and I'd prefer not to start trouble. Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans. But the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. Wait a minute. Shiala, you were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue, like normal Asari. Those health problems, I said, were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. A few months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. I'm also having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. Tell me more about the contract you signed for these scans. Barrier Frontiers was interested in our problem. They offered to perform medical scans and deliver treatment for next to nothing. I should have known it was too good to be true, but we were desperate. In the fine print, we apparently agreed to let them perform invasive follow-up procedures if they deem it valuable. Which they have. Can they actually force these procedures on you? No. But they can declare us in breach of contract. Which means we're responsible for the full price we would have paid normally. Zoo's hope just got back on its feet. There's no way we can afford that, Shepard. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontier's representative knows about the issue. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. Why are you insisting on these tests? What use could they possibly be? Their use is not your concern. A legal binding contract was signed. Nothing else matters. All of you. Humans. Salarians. Turians. You come to our planet, then complain that our laws don't suit you. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Why are you so prejudiced against aliens? <sighs> Where do I begin? With Salarian explorers unleashing the Rachni upon us, then unleashing the Krogan to correct their mistake? Or the Turians, so eager to bomb every problem away? Or humans, the new arrivals who already think they should be in charge? Every war that has plagued this galaxy has been caused by your people. My people's deaths are on your hands. Whose deaths are we talking about exactly? The mother of my daughters was killed on the Quarian homeworld during the initial Geth uprising. My daughters died on the Citadel when the Geth attacked. One worked in the embassy. The other was a greeter for the consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Why was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. 
She loved all their art. Said they had old souls. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people, exploring new cultures. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I I'm not. A I didn't... Sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. You did it! I just got the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You've saved Zeus Hope again. I don't think I could have... Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? You've got the power to make a difference, Shiala. Not everyone does. You're right. You gave us a chance by saving the colony. I can't let them down. I won't. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe sometime when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not doing whatever you do. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem, or... Did she kill somebody already? Relax. I just need to speak with her. Good. Samara's the first Justicar I've seen on Ilium. If I'm lucky, things will stay peaceful. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Is Samara really that dangerous? If you follow the laws, you've got nothing to fear. And a Justicar would die without hesitation to protect the innocent. But their code orders them to stop lawbreakers, with lethal force in most cases. And everyone skirts the law somehow on Ilium. If someone tried to bribe her, she'd be obliged to gun them down as a matter of honor. I'm hoping to avoid that. Where do you think you're going? I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me. Nice guns. Try not to use them in my district. What can I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. I need to recruit Samara for my mission. Then we'll be on our way. Justicars usually work alone, but they are drawn to impossible causes. She'll like our mission then. If you're getting her out of my district, I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the crime scene. You're letting her into a sealed crime scene? I'm a cop. I'll work with the Justicar all I can. Besides, she's been looking at crime scenes longer than our two lifespans combined. She knows how to handle herself. You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. But her Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. 
If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. Your superiors are sending you to certain death for no good reason. You have a right to disobey. We can disobey suicidal orders. Why wasn't I told? That's about twice a day. Most of the time I'm not being stupid about it. I can't say the same for Anaya's superiors. I'm a cop and I know my duty. I've been ordered to detain her and I will. Unless I can get her to leave my district first. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. You mentioned a crime scene. A Volus merchant was murdered. It was a professional hit, so we're not dealing with junkies looking for a score. I'm thinking the local Eclipse mercenary band. Can't prove it. But if the Volus was dirty too, maybe it's just a deal gone bad. What do I need to know about these mercenaries? Eclipse mercs are professional killers. They sell red sand, trade illegal weapons tech, and smuggle criminals off-world. They control some back alleys around here. I haven't been able to find their nest yet, though. I have to go. Good luck. We better find Samara before the detective goes after her. Troops. Tell me what I need to know, and I will be gone from here. Where did you send her? You think I'd betray her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. The name of the ship. Your life hangs on the answer, Lieutenant. You can kill me, but one of us will take you down, Justicar. <laughs> What was the name of the ship she left on? Go to hell! Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. <laughs> My name is Samara, a servant of the Justicar Code. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed people before me. Are we friend or foe? I'm Commander Shepard, and I need your help with a critical mission, Samara. You honor me, but I am in the middle of an investigation. I need you to help me take down the Collectors. The Collectors are a worthy foe. I would relish testing myself against them. But I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. I cornered her here, but the Eclipse sisters smuggled her off-world. I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes cold. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. Uh, the human is lost here. Can one of you clarify? I was trying to convince her to leave with you, but just a car is in their code. The detective has been ordered to detain me. I can't force her to disobey an order. And after a day, Samara fights her way out of custody, killing anyone in her way. I am afraid so. There must be some way we can all get what we need. I see a way. While I am in custody, you find the name of that ship. Do that and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. A moment ago you refused to give up your investigation, but now you'll swear to follow me? If I stay, I will be compelled to kill many innocents to escape incarceration. Like me. I may be killed, and my quarry would be free to continue murdering. If I come with you and survive your mission, I can resume my investigation. To do that, I need the ship's name to track her to her next hiding place. It is a simple choice. A small chance is better than none. Do you have any leads? The Volus merchant Pitney Four is tied to this. Eclipse mercs are preparing to kill him. Get the tooth out of him. He may know a way into the Eclipse base. 
Well, I've got to get back to my station. And I guess I've got to take you with me. Thank you, Shepard. Hello, Earth Clan. If you're interested in weapons, I have a fine selection. Unfortunately, I am not open for business right now. I need information, and I hear you might have some insight. I have no idea who you are, Earth Clan. I hardly disclose private information to total strangers. The Eclipse are out for your blood. I need your help to break into their base. Shouldn't we work together? Yes. You're right, Earth Clan. I'm desperate. I've got angry mercs after me, and now this Asari Justicar. Let's talk. I smuggled a chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. It also is toxic. I may have, um, forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse. So they are perturbed and want to kill me. It sounds like you're a swindler and your actions finally caught up with you. True and true. But I haven't survived as a merchant this long without being able to tell when there's a deal in the making. You want something. The Eclipse recently smuggled someone off-world. I need the name of the ship she left on. I don't know about their people smuggling operations. They must keep records in their base. I do have a pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. Well, I, I had to return that one, but I happened to make a copy. Take it, but be careful. Each Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. They are all dangerous. New victim. Firing eye impact shot.
I didn't fire my weapon once. I pretended to because the other Eclipse sisters were watching, but I didn't really shoot. You're in an enemy uniform, and I'm gonna kill you. I'm not one of them. I'm new. I thought being Elnora the mercenary would be cool, but I didn't know what they were really like. You chose your side, Elnora. And you lost. Screw that bastard, and screw you! This might be useful. Detective and I would be interested in this. We've been spotted. like a shipping manifest. It shows the Pitney 4 sold 2,000 units of Minigen X3 to the Eclipse, along with 600 units of red sand. This isn't the information Samara needs, but it proves that the Volus is a criminal. I'm sure Detective and I would be interested in this. We've got to keep moving. I think things, and they happen. Fear me, lesser creatures, for I am biotics made flesh. I don't know what drugs you're on, but stay back and I won't shoot you. You will regret your scandalous words. I am a great wind that will sweep all before me like a... A great wind. A great biotic wind. Yes. The Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying. But then I began to smell my greatness. 
They may laugh when I fall over, but they don't know what I know in my head. But I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me! Are you part of Pitney Four's trade group? When I was mortal, I worked for Pitney. Poor soul is probably terrified that I have not returned. He hasn't reported your disappearance. Probably so his departure will get delayed. When the chips are down, even your friends will screw you for an extra cred. Bah! I will wreak a just revenge upon his people. But first, the leader of these mercenaries is in the next room. I shall toss Wasaya about like a ragdoll! Shepard, this guy couldn't tie his bootlaces, much less fight. I will tear her apart. My biotics are unstoppable. Wasaya will tear you apart. Take a nap. You'll feel better. Are you mad? I'm unstoppable. Feasting on her biotic-rich blood will be the last step. But, Great Wind, Biotic God, I'm... I... What was I saying? I'm... tired. You... may be right. Yes, I'm tired. Hold that. Destroy the universe later. So much for Godhood. Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off world. First a Justicar shows up, now you. At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass! They've seen it. That must be the ship Samara was looking for. Should we head back to the police station and give her the name, or look around first? Let's give her the name and keep moving. I've got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service, so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. By the code, I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code.
never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. I can see that this is a very important act, Samara. Thank you. Truly, the life of a Justicar can get lonely. I admit I am looking forward to serving with a company of honorable heroes. Shall we return to your ship? I need to speak to the detective. Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar, and you've just upped my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. I have proof that Eclipse killed the Volus merchant. Let's see what you got there. Interesting. But I can't verify it. It would be inadmissible. I vouch for Shepard, and any evidence he brings forward. I accept the judgment of the Justicar. Thanks, Shepard. I wasn't sure about trusting a stranger, and a human at that. But you came through. Never heard of this Elnora. Sounds like she was just starting her career. Good thing you cut it short. Okay, enough with all the congratulations. I've still got a spiraling crime rate. I have proof that Pitney Four smuggled in red sand and illegal weapons tech. I'll send in some officers to arrest him and his cohorts. This is a big help, Shepard. I can't do much to thank you, but we do have a small discretionary bounty fund. Take this. Welcome to the Normandy, Samara. We've studied your profile extensively. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. Thank you. From an organization such as yours, that is high praise indeed. I've seen Samara's biotic powers at work. They're substantial. We still don't know what we're going to find when we hit the Collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on deck three. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events.